Price undercutting or predatory pricing in the insurance industry refers to a practice where a product or service is set very low with an intention to drive competitors out of the market or hinder new players from accessing the market. In Kenya, the practice is outlawed under the Insurance and Competition Act. However, the practice continues to thrive, posing a major risk to the local insurance sector. Liberty Life Managing Director Abel Munda says price wars among insurance is hurting the business, stifling competition and driving some players out of the market. If you continue to take schemes at uh, a much lower rate than you should, then before long your capital is eroded. Then you'll be expected to show up your capital and you have to ask your shareholders to give you more capital and I'm sure they'll not be amused by that. So we must continue to rate schemes sensibly. In the year 2010, the Insurance Regulatory Authority introduced the No Claims Discount Rule in 2010 to curb undercutting. A research by the industry regulator last year covering 30 chiefs of various underwriters found that executives cited price undercutting as the most serious concern within the insurance industry, even worse than fraud, which is also rampant in the sector. Those underwriting principles must be upheld. And I tell you, in the industry, I know we suffer through that, but people, other players actually will have to come, you know, into... They, they, they love to reckon with this. Munda spoke during the launch of Maisha Plan with Kenya Women Finance Trust that seeks to offer last respect benefits to the microfinance 800,000 customers. The purchasing power of our people have been depleted and um, always when there is drought, it hits the bottom of the pyramid. It hits the rural area much harder. So we have seen the purchasing power of our people being affected. But I think I would say the low income people, people in the villages, people in, who are doing uh, the kind of business that we focus on, they are doing their, their usual business. The cover will be offered by Kenya Women Finance Trust at a cost of 75 shillings per day, where beneficiaries will receive a one-off payment of 100,000 shillings in case of a member's demise.